Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hype RC. In today's video, we're going to be going over turning your Axial UTB18 into a mini comp class rig. We've got the FuryTech Beetle chassis in carbon fiber. We're going to take a look at that. We've also got the FuryTech Stinger brushless system. We're going to talk about the FuryTech car app and how to make adjustments to get the most performance out of that. I also got the BEC installed to power the front 10 scale servo. I've got this thing crawling so slow, you're going to think I filmed it in slow motion. Let's get over to the bench and check it out. All right, we got our UTB18 here over in the bench. Let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrades we did this round. So we're going to start off with the Fury Tech Beetle chassis. I got it in carbon fiber for this mini comp rig. I wanted to get as much weight off the top of this as possible. And the way to do that is with carbon fiber. I really like how easy it was to put together and all the adjustability of the shock mounts to really tune in the suspension on this rig. It also bolts up very well with the Fury Tech brushless 118 stinger system. This system actually has a Fury Tech car app and I'm going to have an upcoming video on how to adjust all those settings on this very soon. But as far as I'm concerned, these are two absolutely fantastic upgrades for your UTB18. It has got this thing modulating so slow. I mean, I'm just super impressed with how well this is performing. I also went ahead and got a hinge BEC installed on this. It is a 5, 6, and 7.4 volt adjustable system. It can handle 2 to 6S LiPo. It is a 6 amp continuous with an 8 amp burst and has a JST connector, but it is taking care of all those brownout issues we had with trying to run this 10th scale servo. This is a 35 kilogram Zuski Pro servo, so it has got more than enough power to run run this rig. I also went ahead and printed off these 3D custom shock spacers so that we could use the upper shock mounts without having this rub directly on the chassis. So that is working out very well. I also went ahead and switched out from the 10 weight to the 30 weight uh, shock oil. The, I used Losi 30 weight shock oil on these and it has got this slowed down a little bit more. I really like the way that that is working. But if you're going to run this rig on 3S, this is our Gen's Ace 3S 800 milliamp battery. You need to upgrade the front axles because you are going to snap them. It's a known weakness in the UTB18. So I went over to Deluxe Fab and got their U joint front axle kit. It comes with two front steering knuckles that have extra clearance added to them and they're bored out for a different size bearing. The axles themselves are steel and heat treated for hardness and they are super beefy. We're not going to break those. So that is a thing of the past, but all in all, the way that this rig is sitting and running right now, I'm extremely impressed with. So we'll get this thing over to the scales and get some weight on it. And then we'll hit the incline table and we'll get this rig out to the rocks. So stick around and check it out. All right, guys, we've got our UTB18 mini comp rig sitting on our Sky RC corner weight system. There's one other upgrade that I wanted to mention. I bought these brass C hubs from a new company called MeUs, M E U S. If you get time, go over and check out their website. They make a bunch of really cool parts for a bunch of different rigs, but I wanted to get just a little bit more weight moved up front. So I thought brass C hubs would be the way to go. So we have got this rig sitting at 57% in the front with 43% in the rear and a 50-50 left to right with a grand total of 1,597 grams total. Let's get this thing over the incline table and see what it can do. All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick overview of how to set up your Fury Tech Fury Car app with your UTB18 ESC. So we've got the app set up and turned on. We're going to turn our ESC on. So it, you're going to hear it chime, and then it's going to show the 
vehicle. We are going to select it. And so the first thing that we are going to check or that you're going to want to do is to make sure that you are have the most up-to-date firmware. So here's the firmware. I am up to date. 1.4 is the highest you can go. If not, you will be able to select the one and start that update. And we'll go ahead and you can change your password. There's up to eight characters here to be able to change your password. Then the car type is crawler. The motor type is brushless. The motor is the Komodo motor and the temperature settings we have is Fahrenheit. And then you can change your Bluetooth name. If you're around other guys that are running Fury Text, when you turn it on, you'll be able to have a specific name. You can reset your Bluetooth name and do a complete factory reset if you're having problems. But let's go back to the Fury car and we'll start off with your telemetry. So here's your telemetry for forward and reverse throttle rpm and temperature settings you can go to just your forward throttle you can also go to second by second telemetry and those are the different telemetry settings you can go with so now we'll go to the running so in running you're going to have your mode so you've got forward reverse forward with brake forward reverse with brake and then the one that we are in which is just forward reverse with the crawler we don't need the brake so voltage cutoff is a selectable. This is going to be where your ESC is going to cut off with the voltage of your battery. I have mine turned down to 3.4. Voltage output is basically the BEC. So you can select 5 volt or 6.5. I have an external BEC. So this is not really setting. This doesn't do anything for the way I have my rig set up. You have the motor rotation clockwise and counterclockwise. We are set up in clockwise. Now here's your startup power. So you can start off very slow to normal to very high so that's going to be you know if you want to move slow you want to move normal you want to move very high it's, it's going to basically be the setting right off the bat i like mine set at normal again these are all personal preference max forward will be the percentage of your forward throttle max reverse will be the percentage of your reverse i have mine turned down to 30 that way when i do reverse it is just a small amount of the reverse because i don't need to back up in a hurry i will just need to back away from an obstacle max brake i have at 100 percent drag brake i have set at 100 percent so this is for incline and decline so if you have it set at 100 percent it is going to stick wherever it is when you let it off the throttle and now here's your field of control i have it turned up all the way to the 30 percent and this is basically the slow creep mode this is what fury tech is known for i keep mine turned up all the way to 30 again these are all personal preferences the next we will go to is throttle this is where you can calibrate your remote this is going to be a setting where you set the neutral the forward and the reverse on your remote and then you have neutral forward, which is basically the dead zone. I have mine set on normal. A lot of guys will run narrow. It's 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 the amount of neutral zone on your controller. A normal works fine for me. Punch is again a one to ten setting. That is how much throttle is applied. And when I break out of my FOC, I like mine set to five. That way it's got plenty of punch to keep going forward. The neutral break is a one to five setting. I have mine set up at two. This is going to be how quick you break and how hard you break. Mine, I like just a little bit. I don't want it to do it too hard, too fast. That'll cause you to roll over forward on a decline. And then the low speed setting is basically where your FOC is going to stop and your regular throttle is going to start. I like mine turned up high to 60. That's just a personal preference, but I like about 60% of my a hundred percent of my throttle 60 percent of it is that slow foc crawl and then if i really need to get over 60 percent that is when the regular throttle will kick in and then the last thing you can set here is the throttle curve again this is my personal settings a lot of guys like to start in slow and ramp it up high me i like to be able to just get to that 40 percent pretty quick and then just creep over from that you can also set the reverse which is just slow and low for me because I don't need a whole lot of reverse. Again, these are all personal settings. This is my personal setup that works for me, but that is the great thing about the Fury Tech Fury Car app is that you can set this up to your individual driving style, exactly how you like to run your vehicle. And I think it is amazing. I really like it. And there's my remote telling me that we have not used it. So we will turn it and now we are back live. And so you can set these up how you want. I just kind of wanted to do a quick overview for somebody that's new and wants to know how to set up the app and set up their ESC to this new system. Personally, I love it.
let's get out and take a look at the rocks. All right, guys, I had a blast getting out and test running this rig with all these new upgrades on it. The UTB-18 is definitely becoming one of my favorite crawling rigs. Let's go over the final thoughts of each one of these upgrades. We're going to start off the Fury Tech Beetle Carbon Fiber Chassis. I'm extremely impressed with all the adjustability in this chassis. I really like the location for the electronics and the battery up front, and it specifically fits into the mini comp class size. So all in all, I think it's a win-win, and you can't go wrong dollar for dollar with that purchase. Next, let's talk about the Fury Tech brushless stinger system. I really like this motor, and there's three reasons why. Number one is that it's lightweight. Number two, it doesn't take up a lot of room underneath the chassis. And three is the Fury Car app. You can adjust this motor specifically to your driving style and get absolutely the most out of it. So Fury Tech has done a really good job with those two upgrades for your UTB-18. Next, let's talk about the Me, Us, brass C-hubs that we got for the front of this. I wanted to make a purchase from these guys and take a look at the fit and finish and quality of their product, and I'm impressed. I've made a large order from this company and have a bunch of upgrades that I'm not seeing on the market for a lot of my other rigs. So hit the subscribe and like button and ring that bell so you can catch those videos that will be coming out very soon. Next, let's talk about the Hinge BEC. For 15 bucks off of Amazon, this is really hard to beat. I like the adjustability of the voltage with 6 amp constant and 8 amp burst. It has the Zuski 35kg Pro servo running to the max. So I really think that that is absolutely worth all your dollars. But the number one upgrade for this rig is the Deluxe Fab front axles. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to break those front axles, especially if you go to 3S brushless on this thing. You're going to end up wasting time repairing those over and over again. You're going to miss out on fun time, or you're just going to lose a comp because of those front axles breaking, and that is the one thing that needs to be addressed the most on your UTB-18. But all in all, as a whole, I think this rig is running very well. I think it's gonna give those guys in the mini comp class a run for their money, so don't forget to support your local hobby shops. Bash, crawl, repeat. Hit the subscribe and like button and ring that bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.